everybody, it's your girl Deshaun LaFay with the Deshaun LaFay Experience. I am back once again with our daily collective reading. This is our usual read for the collective. This is a general reading. We're just going to tap into the energies of the collective and see what's going on. Um, and just let it flow and see what happens. Okay. Now, I was using my crystal reading cards as a clarifier for my last read. So, I'm just going to use these as the... The number one, and I'm gonna spray them with some more Florida water so we get that energy off of them. Spray the air. Okay, let me light my let me light my wood right quick. All right, thank you all for coming back. If you did come back, if not, it's cool. I understand, but I have to do my job. Have to do my job. This is my, this is my job now. I have to take it seriously. And I do take it seriously. So, that's where we at with that. Let me take a sip of coffee. All right. All right, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let me shuffle these cards real quick. And um, thank you, Creator, for using me as a conduit in which to convey the messages for the collective. I ask that they are edifying and that they bring about peace, clarity, and understanding and bring them closer to their higher selves. I thank you so much for giving me this gift and the ability to share it. To anyone that wants to partake in it, I'm just grateful and thankful for all that I have. Everything. I'm so grateful. So grateful and so thankful. So moot it be, you all. So moot it be. Yes. I hope you guys are feeling just as good as I am because I am. I am so thankful. And you know, the first step to positive living is being grateful for everything you have. Even when you go to the bathroom, not to be gross or nothing, but just the fact that you can use the bathroom normally, if you can, is is something to be thankful for. Because there's a lot of people that have to use colostomy bags. And they can't just, you know, use the, you, they can't just, you know, use their, their body like normal, you know. People can't walk. It's, it's a lot of, a lot of things. So whatever you can sit and think to be thankful for, just be thankful for it. You know, just be thankful. Okay, two more shuffles, and then I'm going to get going. Okay. Mm, okay, I didn't want to, that was it. They was like, look, we're done. Okay. Okay, all right. Wow. Wow, wow, the first three cards that came out are directly from spirit, directly from spirit, the first three cards that came out, and then here we go with the communication and the grounding, well, this is, I can't make this stuff up, I swear, okay, all right, so the first card that came out is Soul Connection Crystal, the Lovers, so I'm just going to take it for what it says. This card is about lovers. The um, clear quartz crystal is a, is a master stone that you can program to do and be anything you want it to be. So I'm going to take this as saying, if, there's, if you're out here and you want a love, all you have to do is see it in your mind. Uh, and 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 think it in your thoughts and feel it in your heart and you will manifest the love that you want if you're in a relationship you can totally change that relationship if it's if it's not if it's not what you want it to be you can change the relationship into something else hold on y'all okay I'm sorry that was my son he, he he like distracts me when he opens up doors and stuff like that I'm so sorry Okay, 
Um, if you're in a relationship now, you can make it better. Even if it is good, you can make it even more better. All you have to do is concentrate and see what it is that you want and bring it about. So just like a clear quartz crystal, you can program your relationship to be whatever you want. If you don't have a relationship, you can bring it in. No problem. And that clear quartz crystal is also with this clear quartz crystal. This is a double tourmalated, so they grow together like that. So you can grow in love with, with your new love. If you're with someone, you two can grow together and make a more harm, harm, uh, a more harmonious relationship with just your thoughts and thinking. That smoke is the, uh, the sage. Okay, and then the next one is purification. So when you see this card, you can also use clear quartz crystals to clean other crystals. So it's, like I said, it's a master all-purpose stone. You can use it in the purification process of yourself. So if you... If what I'm hearing is if you don't have a relationship, you need to purify yourself, your mind, your heart, your your uh, communication, purify it. You can use a clear quartz crystal as well. All you have to do is just put it on your your uh, your crown. You can put it on your heart, you know, to clear any blockages that may be there and purify yourself, purify your thoughts, purify your mind, purify how you communicate. And uh, before you start to try to bring something in. And as you complete the purification process, it's going to bring about peace. Um, scolocyte is a, uh, is a very, it's, it's very akin to celestite. Celestite is a really pretty blue crystal. Um, and this, this uh, crystal is, is, is akin to it. It brings about a peaceful a peaceful aura, a peaceful feeling. When you're around it, it just gives off um, a very soft energy that calms you and makes you very peaceful. So as you're moving from calling in that lover, uh, purifying yourself with your mind, your thoughts, and your actions and your deeds, you can use this crystal or just, you know, just bring about peace in your mind. It doesn't necessarily have to be a crystal. You don't need to use it. You, can, you are a crystal. You know what I mean? But this crystal is representing peace. So peace is going to come from knowing that you can change your relationship. You can bring about whatever you want. You can bring in the love of your life that you want. As you're purifying yourself, it's going to bring about some peace because you know that this is going to happen. And when that lover comes in, Aquamarine is for communication. It's for that throat chakra. You'll be able to communicate with your lover. You'll be able to let them know how you feel and you won't be apprehensive or feeling like, you know how uh, a lot of the times we like to play games and, oh, well, I'm not going to call this person first or, you know, they have to call me or, you know, I don't want them to think I'm too eager or too excited or whatever, you know, but you'll have a peace about yourself to be able to just communicate whatever it is that you need to communicate to your lover or yourself and also all of that process is going to help you create healthy boundaries you'll be grounded in in the peace and the purification of yourself hey autumn hi love how are you um you'll be bringing in healthy boundaries so this relationship is going to be one of the best relationships you've ever had because this is the beginning card and this is the ending card. So because it's starting in a very clear, clean vessel, which is you, and you're starting from a peaceful place, you're going to be able... I'm wonderful, baby. <laughs> um, you're going to be able to um, communicate effectively and have healthy boundaries. Meaning, um, a lot of us have been single for a long time. You know what I mean? And you may be in a situation where you're in a routine, you're in a you're in a, a, a space where, you know, you wake up and you do certain things, you go to sleep and you do certain things. And th that's okay to, to be that way and to, to stay who you are. Okay, love, um, let me type it right here for you. 
Um, hold on. Let me type it right here. Hold on real quick. Um, a lot of us have been, like I was saying, a lot of us have been single for a while. And so, you know, we're, um, we're in, I don't want to say a rut cause it's not a rut. It's just, it's just, um, here, let me put it right here. I'm sorry, y'all. Just real quick. Let me answer Autumn's question. Okay. A five card spread is uh, 35 and a nine card spread is 55 and I do a video for you and then I send you the link so you can watch the video over and over and take notes or whatever if you like. And this is my uh, cash app, Deshaun LaFay. And basically it's an intuitive reading and the messages just come out whatever whatever that whatever the messages are that's what I that's what comes out I just say what I see um because you know I don't use tarot cards I'm an intuitive oracle card reader so I basically just tell you what I see in the cards um yeah okay so what was I saying healthy boundaries yeah so a lot of us have been um single for a while and so you want to make sure that you don't give up yourself for a new relationship like don't don't be so quick to um, not do things that you were doing before because you have this person. Like if you were hanging out with friends on Tuesdays, if you went every Tuesday to have sushi with your friends, continue to have sushi with your friends. And don't let anybody make you feel like you shouldn't continue to do the things that you were doing before you got with this relationship. Keep your healthy boundaries. And you're going to be able to communicate effectively because it's coming from a very peaceful, purified place from within. You're very at peace with yourself. You know who you are. You know what you have to offer a relationship. And you know what you have to offer to a relationship and to someone else. So this, 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 this right here is really good. I like how this looks. This is nice. This is really, really nice. So a lover's... A lover situation is coming in. Like I said, even if you're married, if you have a boyfriend, girlfriend, you're already connected to someone, you can bring about the relationship that you want. If you're single, you've been single for a while, you want a relationship, you can bring that in at this time. There's nothing stopping that energy from working. But just know, as you're doing that, you need to have a purified vessel. Your, your mental needs to be purified, your heart needs to be purified, and you need to be able to effectively communicate. Um, not your fears, not any, you know, clean all that stuff up out of you while you're calling in this new relationship. And find yourself, peace, find yourself in peace, knowing that you have the power to create whatever it is that you want, which should bring about a peaceful state of mind for you. And then as you move into that peaceful, knowing, understanding, knowing who you are, you'll be able to communicate effectively and keep those healthy boundaries in place. And this is going to end up being one of the best relationships you've ever had. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm excited. Wow, this is awesome. Two, two bomb readings at one. At once. Let me pull these two, these two cards from um, my angels and ancestors to give the, the last two messages of the reading. Okay. I'm sorry, Autumn. I'm not trying to um, blow you off, baby. I just, um, I wanted to keep keeping my thought process of what, what I was hearing because I got uh, limited. <laughs> I, I forget so quick and I didn't want to forget it. Okay. But I'm going to be done in just a second and you can hit me up in the inbox if you like. And anybody else, if you're interested in a um, personal reading, just let me know in the DM. Like I said, five cards is 35, nine cards is 55. I do a uh, unlisted video on YouTube and I send you the link and then you're able to watch it over and over at your leisure. Okay, all right. Two more times. These are just clarifiers right quick to just kind of see what the closing messages are. Okay. Alright. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't make this stuff up. <laughs> okay. 
So the last two messages, um, the first one is Lord. This is take charge with authority. So this goes with this lover's crystal. You're, you're taking charge of your life with authority by bringing in the love that you want, right? Bringing in that love. Um, purifying yourself, right? Um, bringing about a peaceful calm to yourself. And communicating, right? Communicating effectively and keeping those healthy boundaries. So you're doing all of that with, with authority. You're taking charge of your life and you're taking authority and you're going to make things happen the way you want them to happen. And you're also going to trust in your talents in changing times. So this is the last one. This kind of goes with the, the money situation. Um, you know how everything has changed right now, right? People's jobs, people working from home, all that kind of stuff. Everybody has a talent. I hear a lot of people say, I don't have a talent. Yes, you do. You have to take time to find what your talent is and hone in on that talent, perfect that talent, and trust that talent to get you through changing times. Because these are changing times. And you have to change with the times. And you have everything inside you to change with the times. And you have to trust that and know that within yourself that that's what it is. So take charge with authority, y'all. Bring in that lover. Bring in that that wonderful relationship that you always wanted with whoever you're with, whoever you're bringing in. Purify yourself, your mind, your heart, and your communication, which is going to bring about peace and uh, effective communication to keep those healthy boundaries in place. And you're doing all of that, taking charge and authoritatively, and trusting your talents in these changing times. All right, y'all, that is the collective reading for the collective. <laughs> the collective reading for the collective. I'm so funny. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope it resonated. Um, if it, you know, it's general, so it may not go with you today or it might click tomorrow. Who knows? Whatever. Just like the video for me, share it um, with people that you think would benefit from it. And um, you guys check out my YouTube channel because I'm going to start uploading. When I do the lives here, I'm going to upload them to my, my YouTube channel. And then there's a whole lot of other content on there too. All right. Thank you so much for watching. It's your girl, Deshaun LaFay with the Deshaun LaFay Experience. I appreciate you all so very much. I truly do. All right. I'm about to go. But as always, you know your girl is going to be back. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye.